How many children? How many young wives? How many suicides, drug addictions, depressions? That's what he gave us. Prince of the church. Him and the rest of the prince. Forming circles. There's a whole lot more of them that should be in jail like this guy. A whole lot more. But they're all getting away with it. 20 years we've been fighting for this. One crumb, one prince. Go to hell, McCarrick. Former Roman Catholic Cardinal Theodore McGarrick made his first court appearance today on charges that he sexually assaulted a teenage boy in Massachusetts nearly 50 years ago. This case is significant because McCarrick is the only U.S. Cardinal, current or former, to ever be charged with a sex crime against a minor. The reason McCarrick can be charged in this case is because he wasn't a Massachusetts resident and he left the state. Mr. McCarrick, how can you plead not guilty? Which means the statue, the clock on the statute of limitations stopped at that point. McCarrick's court appearance was short. He did not say anything during the appearance today. Even in your 90s, you cannot hide. Uh, the court entered a not guilty plea on his behalf and set bail at $5,000, ordered him to stay away from the victim and have no contact with minors. They set another court appearance for October 28th. Everybody knew about McCarrick. Today's arraignment provides hope for many clergy of sex abuse victims and survivors that justice will prevail, the truth will be told, and children will be kept safe. My client, in coming forward, has shown an enormous amount of courage and is ready to see this trial through the end. Thank you. McCarrick's attorneys didn't have any comment today besides say, to say that they're looking forward to addressing the allegations in the courtroom. McCarrick is the tip of the iceberg. There are 46 bishops in the United States accused of child abuse. He's just one of them. Uh, he's the exception in a way that proves the rule and there's a lot more work to do.